Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk to you about the best way to film yourself so you can share your catch. All right, so Yak Attack makes three really amazing offerings for filming yourself. They make the Boomstick, which is the longest offering. They make the Panfish Pro, which is the intermediate size. And then they make this little guy here, the Panfish Portrait. All right, so I'm gonna start with the smallest unit first and kind of walk you through the features. Uh, basically, this unit comes with the famous uh, lock and load system from Yak Attack, where you can put your base uh, anywhere you want it. What I really like about this base system is you can put these bases in different places in your kayak and you can simply pop this off. So if you want the longer pole in the front for a while and the shorter pole in the back, you can really configure and reconfigure this setup. Uh, I also really like taking this system, putting it on the side of the boat, loosening this um, up and folding it over and getting that down the side uh, of the boat shot. What really makes this system uh, even better though is the head articulates. You simply loosen that up right there and you can turn this thing in any plane, any direction that allows you to pan the camera around uh, without having to completely reset uh, all the fittings. So guys, this is the most basic, small, compact. If you just want to film yourself, uh, if you just want to set your camera up uh, to get that selfie shot, uh, this is the jam right here. If you put this thing on the front of your boat, uh, use an action mount for either a Tacticam, a GoPro, or even get an action uh, mount for your camera or for your phone, uh, you can really take some cool photos. What's also cool about this system is you can loosen it up and turn it into a little, little selfie stick. You can turn around like a pistol grip articulate this thing up just like this, and now you basically have a little vlog style uh, selfie stick that allows you to shoot some really cool content. So if you're looking for the most basic setup to film yourself on the water, share your next adventures, or if you just wanna get that hero shot to share with your friends, then check out the Panfish Portrait from the folks at Yak Attack. All right, so next up in the lineup is that kind of, that middle of the lineup lengthwise, it's the Panfish Pro. Now what makes this Panfish Pro what gives it its panfish name is in the middle of the unit, you can actually turn it by hand. And if you can see that head turning right there, you can set your pole up and you can actually rotate it to get different settings, but there's enough friction there that you don't have to uh, worry about it. So you can, as we like to say, set it uh, and forget it. So this is kind of an intermediate length. I like to put this out in front of me, or if I'm gonna film behind me, uh, I generally like to loosen it up and kind of kick it off to the side and it gets that off to the side, down the side of the boat angle, or I'll use this in conjunction with my black pack to get it up out over my shoulder and off to the side. So we use this for a lot of creative uh, show angles that sometimes you know, and sometimes you don't even know that we're using it for. This one also pulls double duty uh, as a pretty cool selfie stick. What I like to do here is loosen the base up a little bit and then tighten it back up and you have effectively got a little pistol grip. Now you put your camera out on the end of that and you can move it around and you can get some really cool angles. If your camera has the uh, self timer function or voice control, uh, this is a really cool way and a lot of the pros in the industry don't want you to know how they get their cool selfies uh, of their bigger fish. But one of the things you can do is you can pick that big fish up that your arm may not be long enough to get that photo. Put your camera out on the end of a panfish uh, pro, hold it out like that, hold your fish up, and you can get some really cool shots where you get the whole fish in the frame. Or you can mount this out in front of you on the kayak, get the camera a little bit further away, hold the fish up, and get those photos. A lot of times if you're shooting 1080 uh, or 4K, you can even just kind of move the fish around. You can go back in your video, and you can find a really cool still frame that'll give you a Instagram, Facebook, or show, social media worthy shot. And if you're shooting 4K, you can pretty much pull a still out there that's gonna give you a really great shot. So again, that's the panfish portrait. That's that kind of workhorse of filming. It's that intermediate. Uh, if you don't see it on my boat in video, that doesn't mean I don't have it with me. This thing is pretty much on my boat at all times. Uh, it's maybe stuck in the Ford hatch. It's laying in the tank well next to my, my black pack, but I almost always have this thing with me. There's very few occasions when I don't. Again, with the foam set up, here's another little kind of pro secret that I use this thing for. I like to put an underwater camera on there and just throw this thing out in the water and the weight of the camera and the mount just balances it out and it floats nice and horizontal. 
So I've used this for underwater shots where I throw the lure and reel it past the camera. Uh, I've used this for release shots where I just throw it out to the side of my kayak, do my release, and then grab the pole, put it back in the kayak. And uh, so it's really versatile and it allows you to get really creative uh, with the content that you're creating. So probably the star of the show for the set it and forget it, one that I use the most. I really like to use this with my Tacticam uh, fisheye because I can put it out behind me uh, again, pretty much set it and forget it. Again, it works with the, um, uh, the lock and load system. Uh, in many cases, depending on the boat, I like to change out the base for the HD mount uh, from Yak Attack, which just gives it a little bit more flexibility or a little bit more stability. Uh, and then I also like to take a piece of string uh, or a bungee cord and attach it to the pole and then attach it to the kayak and kind of cinch it down a little bit, which gets rid of a little bit of the wobble. But I'm also gonna be honest with you. When it really comes to cool video, when you're setting the hook or fish are jumping or you're fighting a fish, that little bit of wobble does add to the, the realism effect of it. So don't overlook just letting that thing wobble a little bit because that camera wobble, in my opinion, uh, adds to the experience of making you feel like you're right there with the person when they're fighting the fish. So the Yak Attack Boomstick uh, is the longest in the lineup, Has still has the same articulating camera mount at the top, it still has the ability to get uh, super flexible, and again, with the lock and load system, you can change this angle, you can loosen that thing up and put a little bit of an offset in it, and then all you have to do is press this button and it pops up and allows you to rotate it around and lock it in position. So if you put one of these things right out beside you or right behind you, when you get ready to take that hero shot, you can simply press the button, swing the camera all the way around, turn sideways, pick your fish up, and you get that really cool hero shot. So guys, listen, if you're looking to share your next adventure, whether you're filming with your phone, uh, filming with a premium camera up to a pound, uh, a GoPro, a Tacticam, and you want to share your next catch, check out the awesome lineup of camera mounts from the folks at Yak Attack. And these and other awesome Yak Attack products are available from the folks at Fish USA.